Tommy, ahead of the visit of Dorking on Monday, what are your thoughts? Well, after every reverse we've had this season, we want to go move on to the next game as quickly as we can. This one's obviously coming around very, very, very quickly. So we just had a session there with the lads and a head can't see who's fitting well. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to hopefully a packed DBV. We have mentioned it a few times this season how it's been a roller coaster ride. I guess we're at one of those bottom bits at the moment. But I mean, I stand here with every confidence that we can get back up to one of the high bits again. Is, is, is it the same with everyone else? Absolutely. After every trough, there's always a peak. And then, you know, we always, like I said, we move on whether we've won, drawn, or lost to the next game. And it's, it, I know it's a cliche and people will be sick of me saying it. But there's, there are five games left and we'll take each individual game as, as it comes. Um, we try and pick a team that we feel can compete. Obviously, I don't have, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise that the lads who played on Friday, or the lads who were on the pitch on Friday, I wouldn't say played, um, will feel like they owe, owe people something. Hopefully us, hopefully the crowd, um, will see a very different approach to the game. Um, listen, if I can put my finger on why that, that happened, then I probably wouldn't be stood here. So, um, like I said, we, we just got to move on and, and swiftly put that to the back of the you know, back of the, the queue, if you like, in terms of our priorities. We can look over it in, in more depth, possibly at the end of the season and, and think of why, why things like that happen. Uh, because it's not been, it's not once, it's, it's happened a few times. So as long as we, the trend continues after a result like that, then I'll be quite happy. Slightly different circumstances, of course, but last season when you came through the door here, it, it was about this time, wasn't it, with a few games left and mm. we actually went unbeaten. Are you hoping to maybe see that again? I mean, obviously you are. Well, that would be, the, that would be ideal for us, of course. But uh, really we had a chat with the players this morning, as we always do the day before a game or in our preparation for the opposition. And, uh, you know, we said there's no pressure on our lads, none from us in the staff. You know, there's an expectation from outside of this room, which I understand, but they've, they've created that, which is really good. Last year, as you said, as I walked through the door um, on the 3rd of April, that was real pressure. A lot of lads that, that six games literally were playing for their futures. There's near enough half the squad being offered a new contract already at this football club under my tenure. Um, some have agreed and it'll be announced shortly. Uh, some are still in negotiations, but I'm very at ease with all of that situation. But ultimately, as a footballer, not as a coach and a manager, but as a footballer, the opportunity to do something special comes around very infrequently. And... I feel that the lads in, in general this season deserve to be where we are in a division um, and I want us to see the, the season through in the same manner as we've got here. And I don't want to lose 4-0 any time in my life, but that happens, it's football. Um, the only thing I will apologise for is the fact that I couldn't get over to the fans and say thank you for their unwavered support on Saturday. It was phenomenal. I've been a supporter all my life and I'm sure half the, the fans at Newcastle yesterday would have been out the door at past, you know, at past four. Uh, sorry, half past one, um, but they'll all be running back in at half past two because Newcastle turned it round. That's the way I feel we play. And, and like I said, the fans deserve better than what they got, got fed to them on uh, Saturday. But I wasn't allowed to go over to the fans. It wasn't me um, vacating my role, if you like, and not, not going over there. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully in these two home games that we have, we're going to see the East Bank rammed. Um, and let, let's hear them because we, we, all, we all want the same thing. Us, the players, the fans, everybody at the football club, we all want the same thing that happened between now and the end of the season. When you do take a bit of a step back and you, you look at the league table now, I know it's not something you like doing too much, but we are in a position where I think most of the people connected with the club would have bitten any, anyone's hand off to, to have been here at this point of this season. So although we're licking our wounds at the moment, I think you can look at the squad and look at everyone around it and say we're here on merit and we can do it again. We can pick ourselves up and go again. Well, not without a doubt. I mean, the, the, listen, the group and the staff behind me all deserve a huge pat on the back for being on the same page all the way through the season. We've never wavered. I've never changed my message when I speak to you. I've never changed my messages when I speak to the players collectively or individually. They know what they, what's required of them. On the vast amount of occasions that we've played football, they've delivered. On the few that they haven't, it tends to hit us right in the face. And like I said, how you react to that has been one of the real positives for me this season because durability and, as my mate used to say, bounce back ability is a, is a massive thing in football. I was talking to one of my staff members before the, before we trained this morning and yesterday I felt low in the snake's belly, to be honest with you, but I woke up this morning and it was, sunshine was brilliant. You can see spring has literally sprung, hasn't it? And uh, 
I came into work thinking, you know what, brilliant, we've got a game, we've got a game tomorrow, let's go and do what we do best and, and react. And that's what I'm looking for.